In this video, Bella the Berlingo is back. Hurrah! And oh, how she has changed. Look at this. <laughs> the daylight between the tire and the wheel arch. So uh, we've spent a great deal of money, but we've made Bella an awful lot better. So let's talk through what's been done. The main one was, you will have seen in the last Bella video, she snapped, or the rear suspension collapsed. We didn't actually know why. We suspected as much, but uh, we didn't exactly know why. Uh, we took it to Wern Garage. Uh, is it DS Motors? Uh, I think it is. Yeah, uh, near Nuki. And it's the second job. They'd already done the timing belt job on this vehicle for us. And uh, we thought, yep, yeah, okay, they seem to know their onions. So we entrusted them with this job as well. So they've replaced the rear axle because it turned out it had snapped a torsion bar. Uh, this can happen. Uh, the torsion bars are steel. I think they go into an aluminium suspension arm and uh, the electrolytic reaction between the two. It is a weak point. It is a known weak point, which is why it's very easy to obtain a complete rear axle for a Berlingo or a Peugeot partner. Uh, that was done and uh, that was fitted. And while he was doing that work, he discovered the rear brakes weren't working at all. Uh, he wedged the pedal down, the front's locked, the rears, he could still spin by hand. That's not encouraging. So uh, new rear wheel cylinders have gone on as well. And when the car was in for the uh, cam belt, uh, when it was on the ramp, they noticed down here another common fault is the suspension spring, oh, that's very musical, had snapped. I believe this has got the modified bottom cup on it to try and stop that sp broken spring embedding itself in the tire. That could be an issue on these. Uh, so it's had a pair of springs as well. The passenger side was apparently fine, but with these things, I think it's better to try and replace both springs together. And especially they were very on the good in contacting us and telling us that this one Yeah, was yeah, so, so we got all so this. Uh, information so yeah front and rear has been sorted out with um, new springing so uh, quite expensive 882 pounds all in for the front and the rear suspension to be addressed and the rear wheel cylinders uh, seven and a half hours labor which I don't think is too bad because I've no idea what the book time is on a back axle but that book time will have been generated when these cars were brand new not when they're 20 years old and things are rusted Brake lines reported to be in good condition. He did think he was going to have to replace them, but when he actually took a, a mild abrasive to them, they're actually fine, absolutely solid. So that's all good. And uh, I have to say, it is utterly transformed to drive. As you can imagine, there's a considerable difference in the um, rear suspension height, even before we hooked our camper up. I was going to say, Bella she never was looked like that. Yeah. She? she never looked like that. And that was our clue. So if your <laughs> Berlingo or partner is starting to get a bit saggy at the back end, don't delay. Get that rear suspension it's okay. sorted out. The good people of Twitter, this has scared them witless, so they're all doing it. Yeah. There may be a shortage now because everybody's doing this yeah. now. <laughs> and it's not necessarily a mileage thing. We've got a friend with a really low mileage, yeah. Berlingo and uh, he's out to do the rear axle on that. The yep. arm bearings are another weak point and they haven't gone on this one, but it's only a matter of time before they do. There is no point mixing and matching and trying to replace just the torsion bars. You can strip the rear axle and do that. But when the complete rear axle, even in this case, this wasn't the cheapest. So I think it was 370 quid, including the VAT to us. Um, it, ju it just replaces everything. So life is good. But uh, it's nice the sun's shining because we're finally getting to see what a magical colour Bella is. It's a really bright, shiny green, but it goes very dull as the sun goes in, which it just has. Not helped by the wheels. We do have wheel trim plans, so yes. don't worry. That we're will not be getting them addressed. Off, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased with um, Wern Garage. Uh, they, they did a great job. Their labour rate is not the cheapest, £45. For rural Wales, that's um, on the higher side, but uh, they know what they're doing. I think down there especially uh, no knows his onions, especially which, when it comes to Berlingos. what is most important is it's somebody yeah. we trust. It's very hard to find someone to trust. It is, and it's only the second job we put their way, and I'm very happy with it. So, uh, yeah, it's good news. But like I say, it, it kind of feels like a dragster now because the rear suspension is actually where it should be. And uh, finally, we've got the gaps matching front and rear. We just had a gap going on at the front, so it did look all very peculiar. But I'm looking forward to our next outing with Bob, which is only wait. days away. Yes. In fact, we're probably on the road again by the time you see this video. Yep. So we've got a bit of a backlog at the base moment. And then we're off again. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's very, very exciting indeed. 
But yeah, I'm, I'm sorry we haven't got more to show you. The garage did invite us to come down and film, but we were already on our way to Festival of the Unexceptional, mm. and we needed Bella working again. So it wasn't like we could say, "I'll oh, just wait until." We're and back. also, they're very popular, so they are always very full. So yeah, they very very busy. Have the space to just hold her. Yeah, so um, we, we had to depart. But just before we go, I haven't got one with me, so I'll have to pop up a picture. Remember this little Invercar we've got hidden up the back, Tuck. She needs to come out for some adventures again. We've now got model tucks on the Hubnut store. They're made by Oxford Diecast. Um, we're doing little limited edition cards with the ones we're selling as well. Uh, they are seven pounds each plus postage. So um, grab one while you they can. Are they are teeny, teeny, tiny. tiny. They're 176 scales so that are very small. But uh, yeah, very, very um, pleasing. Go and grab them while they last. They will not be around long. No, I they're suspect. selling really quickly, actually. Yeah, yeah, we, we announced it to channel members and patrons as a bit of a thank you to them, because I'm rubbish. I do so little for my channel members and patrons, so thank you very much. And we thought we'd give them early access, and they are snapping them up. So Possible yeah, dog slurping do be noises. quick. Oh, yeah, Diego's just having a drink and then drowning himself. Well done, Diego. Two hours for you. Uh, but yeah, Shemi, we're getting ever closer, despite how it looks. Uh, we are getting there. There's been mild distractions, like putting a new headliner in a Ford Fairmont. Uh, uh, should have seen that video Ford by Fairmont now. Making the Fairmont fit to tow. Yeah, making the, the Fairmont fit to tow, and then going away and towing. Yes. Yeah, so uh, and at we some didn't point. just do the festival with the unexceptional. In case people think we're just gallivanting, we have done numerous road tests while we've been yeah, away as yeah, well. Yeah. And when we go away this time, we'll be doing numerous road tests as well. Yeah, yeah that's, so, that's yeah. the prime reason for going away. It isn't just to have a nice time in a camper and then make a video and go, oh, look how lovely this is. <laughs> it is actually because we're traveling for work. That yeah. is the point. But it just makes that travel so much easier, having Bob, having that base of our it own. Does. It does, especially with so the dogs. Easier. Yes. But even without the dogs, we've had a lovely time. We've had a wonderful time. Yeah, so uh, yeah, oh, it's definitely people, the, the way forward. If you forward. see a folding camper, go and buy one. <laughs> yeah, we are responsible for the increasing values of folding campers and berlingos. Yeah. I think. Does that make us cool? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're, okay. we're clearly very, very cool. Okay. But, yeah, I can't remember if I mentioned, I've got some wheel trims lined up for Bella. Because the um, bare steelies look, especially as the wheels don't match in colour, uh, maybe wearing a little fin, so they should brighten her up. In fact, we might collect them on this trip. Oh, okay. Need to um, get in touch with the bloke. Okay. He's down Swansea Way. Got a full set of Bilingo wheel trims. So we'll, we'll go and pick those up on the way. Um, but otherwise, yeah, we're just going to continue using them and we'll do a comparison at some point. Maybe we'll talk about it on the next trip about how Bella the Bilingo compares with Betty the Ford Fairmont when it on comes to being a tow vehicle. Yeah, and also Bella versus... Bella pre versus Bella yeah. after. Yeah, if we can have Bob up, can we still see the tops of the mm. rear wheels? That'll be a key question for us. Um, interesting times. Right, well, thank you very much for watching this little Bella update. I'm sorry there wasn't any actual tinkering in it. We've already had the work done. But yeah, join us in the marvelling. Hopefully you've got some much lovely photos. Looks. Yeah, yeah, I've got some photos that I've been dropping in, hopefully, while I was discussing what was done. But yeah, we're very happy. We spent an awful lot of money on this. When it comes to saving fuel, which was the point, uh, we've rather undone ourselves with the amount of money we spent on Bella. Temporarily. Temporarily, but because give it a year or so. Betty is a thirsty bird. Yeah, uh, give it a year and hopefully this thing will have um, paid for itself. But there we go. Thank you very much for watching. We shall see you in a future video. Farewell. <laughs>